sisterweeks.com so make sure you check them out but before I even get started I wanted to share some things with you from their sister site which is nothing but cosmetics and that's sister21.com and let me show you what you guys can get there because basically a majority of this look was created using some of their products so for those of you ladies and gents who love cosmetics then you can check out sister21 because they have loads of affordable affordable cosmetics so so like I said, a lot of this look was created using some of their products. Um, for one, I do love setting spray because if you do your makeup, you do want it to last all day. And you want to stay flawless, on fleek, whatever you want to call it, whatever trending. You can pick up the LA Girl Pro HD Setting Spray. From them, they have a lot of these in stock as well as a huge variety of LA Girl Cosmetics. Also, something that's new to me, was not one of my favorites because I did give this a try. This is the LA Girl Pro Setting Powder. This is supposed to be a high definition setting powder and it's supposed to have no color. But it did show up on me white and it was really hard to set on my skin. So I'm not really sure how I feel about this. It's kind of, I'm kind of on the fence about it. So for those of you who have been wearing this, let me know what you think of this. But if you are looking for this, because I know a lot of people say it's hard to find, you can check Sister 20 one out they do carry these as well I'm not gonna say the name brand because I will chop it up so these are really pretty and they're really pigmented great color I do love the matteness of them they're really pretty color this one here is in the color brown honey brown honey I know I'm not that brown but let's just pretend for a moment and the next one is take me to Paris which is a darker color more like a burgundy ish red color they do have a great peppermint scent to them. If you are an L.A. girl lover, like I said, they do carry a huge variety. So one of my faves are their lipsticks. They're matte velvet lipsticks. The color spicy. And I do like this one. I actually think I own this or I got it from my daughter Tati. But I do love L.A. girl. This is a beautiful brown. So I don't have this one. This is a great fall color. And something different that I have never tried, you guys. Um, but I guess I'm going to have to give it a try. Not today. Not today. I'm not going to change my lipstick. A blue Valentine is a navy blue. I've never wore any color lipstick like this in my life. Okay, never. I don't really know if I would, but we're going to give it a try. But not today, you guys. Not today. Okay. No, not today. Some lip glosses, which is also from LA Girls. Um, this is their glazed lipsticks as well as that. They do carry every color. So for those of you who missed out and couldn't find them, you can check Sister 21 out. They do carry these. I do have like a couple of more to go in the collection. Did not have every last one of them. Even though I don't wear them that often, I still like to have every single color or something. Isn't that just like ridiculous? It makes no sense at all, right? Ruby Kisses Gold Liquid Eyeliner, which I never have tried Ruby Kisses until I started getting makeup from sister21.com so yes glitz in gold and this is some of their blinked out liquid eyeliner a very gold in color this is their 120 clean color eyeshadow palette now I did not know that clean colors had a pro artistry um, 120 eyeshadow palette okay I didn't even know that but they do carry this on sister 21 first of all do you see that gloss to it I know you guys can see that like isn't that really like cute this is like nice sleek packaging but it's a very nice silky like shiny finish to a glossy finish and then you open it up and it has a huge mirror and then you have all of your colors very pretty colors and like I said a lot of this eye look did come from this palette here there are not as many matte colors there's only a couple so like I said a lot of it not all of it but a lot of it came from here and you know you can always use eyeshadows as a blush too color payoff is really great and for those of you who are on a budget and you want a lot of colors and variety then you can check out sister 21 they have loads of stuff 
on their website so yes make sure you guys check them out and i'll post their info below for you guys and on top of that you can look delicious on a budget because now we're going to get into this wig video and i was really excited about this because this is something totally new this is by sensational brand this is by the sensational brand and it's the african collection this is their crochet wig so first of all if you see the picture it's really great this is the jumbo braid 24 inches and I do have it in the color 99J and you can hot water set this wig so just as you would crochet your hair and you would put it in hot water with some rods you can actually do this to this unit right here well, so first it is made on one of those caps that have the actual braids okay so I know you guys have seen those new caps out that are made of cornrows okay so I'm gonna give you guys a close-up view of this you guys see that so this is the actual net. It is cornrows, and I have one. I don't have it on hand to show you, but these are cornrows in the actual cap. This is how it was made, and the crochet hair is put on here. See? Same thing. They just took the hair and did it like this. So you can wear it a variety of ways. So on the inside, there is a there are combs like a regular wig would have. It does have the combs and it also has the adjustable strap. But in the front area, it does have like a scalp kind of material right here. So that way you'd be able to wear it as a wig and it would look like scalpage. Now, of course, I did tweeze a little bit. There's only a small section like that. The rest of it is crochet. I did tweeze a little bit of it and, of course, put my concealer. And it's a lot of hair like... This is a lot of hair. But with this looks like I have on a hundred layers of crochet hair, okay? This is a lot of hair and honestly, I don't really like it in the middle because it doesn't really set flat. Okay, so let's get this straight. Do not attempt to wear this outside like this because, girl, you will be in a world of trouble with all of this hair. Like, it is a lot, and it seems like it gets all over the place and really tangly. So, it's cool that it's a hot water set because, yes. So, I'm going to attempt to do something totally different because I can't, I can't do this. Now this is one of the styles you can do because this is what the young lady has on in the pocket. However, here there is a rule to wearing this particular style like this. Like there's a huge rule, all right? And I need you guys to know this. Now, of course, it probably looks really great from the front. You see the braids and stuff. You do have to mess with the cap because it doesn't sit as flat as you want it to so you might have to pull your hair up just a little bit hike it up a little bit right here so that way it takes away from the a little bit of height of the wig but there is a rule to wearing this if you want to wear it like this so the rule is you would either need to make sure that it's really loose in the back 
like because I'm feeling it and I'm feeling brave, okay? You would need to make sure that it's kind of like poofy, not so pulled tight in the back. Or you can also, which I would probably do because it would be a lot easier. I wouldn't feel so self-conscious. Would braid some of it, like the half of it in the front. Definitely, I would keep the front tamed because, like I said, it is very, very wild. So, this is what I would do just so I wouldn't be so subconscious like, oh my god, the braids are showing or oh my god, the net is showing. I would wear it like this because I know that you're not seeing anything. Unless you have somebody that's going to be behind you that's going to make sure that it looks good and helps you put it on, then that is another alternative. But I'm not really sure I would want to wear this wig all the way out, like not braided because you guys see, I do like the fact that it's a crochet cap and you can like maneuver it a whole lot better, like work around it, like it'll move a lot better, which is cool. And it's yakky like texture, kinky, yakky straight texture. But of course, you know, it is synthetic, so of course it's going to tangle. There are little kinks that they can um, fix in this wig. Like I would like the front to be a little bit flatter, so that way it kind of like melts right onto your scalp. You don't see it. You don't have to do all those tips and tricks. That's just the only thing that I see that that would need to be fixed with this unit other than that it's really cute um hopefully they have it in a shorter size there are two lengths to this um i'm not really sure i think the other one was like a 20 inch if i'm correct don't get me the lion or a 22 but sister wigs does have two versions of this like i said you can hot water set these this wig anyway, you can check out this wig at sisterwigs.com and like i said if you guys are looking for some affordable makeup cosmetics girls or guys you can always check them with sister site out which is sister21.com you did see all the great items that i did have to show you and so on that note stay diva and divalicious let me know what your thoughts of us this week here how would you rock it and what would you do differently to it and as always check the info bar for our discount code make sure that you're logged into sisterwigs.com if you want to receive 10% off by using code MUFFIN. As always, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with friends, family, and people that you don't like, as always. And I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.